Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed my painting tutorials and today I decided to paint some, guess what? Some cherries! You know, uh, it's very close to my name. <laughs> cherries so <laughs> i decided to paint some cherries today so we'll be painting some only um three cherries so that we can actually focus more on the detailing um uh, more than you know just um filling this canvas with some things or subjects we're just gonna do three uh, pieces of cherries and i'll be linking in the description box below the reference image that i'll be using for today's painting tutorial and the colors that we will be using are as follows okay we have here of course red burnt sienna cadmium orange black or paint gray you can use that we have mid yellow or cadmium yellow and then we have here titanium white Okay, so let's begin now. I won't be using any more chalk or pencil for sketching purposes because I think sketching the subject is quite easy for today's tutorial. So for the sketch, I will be using my red color. So I'll just use my red. Again, you may use another or other colors for purposes of sketching. But me, I'm just going to go straight... Uh, to straight using my or I'm just gonna go and use my red straight away let's begin now so again eyeballing everything okay I'm gonna maybe here all right The shape of cher cherries are, or the shape of cherries is more of, um, more like of an apple, right? Especially when we're doing close up, close up paintings. Okay, I'm gonna make this quite bigger, like that. And we're gonna do our best to make it look quite uh, 3D, okay? So we'll be doing some shadows and highlights later. So yeah, so there you go. So these are the three cherries. So we'll be adding some stems later, but later. I think that would be the last step that we will do for this painting. So now we're going to underpaint the cherries now that we've already identified where each of them is going to go. So for the underpainting, I'm going to use my black or paint gray. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to use black. And I'm going to mix it with the existing red that I have here, but more dominantly black, okay? I'm going to use this color, okay, to underpaint the cherries. I'm going to go around the sketch as if I am sketching again. And I think you have to work quite fast for this step because we'll be blending. 
and if the paint is wet we cannot or if the paint is already dry we cannot really blend especially when we're using acrylics so now that we've already outlined it using our black we're going to get our burnt sienna and straight away paint it while the black is still wet And now I'm gonna get my red and while the paints are still wet I'm just gonna go and okay you can actually tell that my red paint is quite like it has some lumps and okay as I was saying while the brown and the black are still wet just go ahead and get your red and try to blend three colors like that so you can see I really didn't care about going up or down because I'll be using my fingers to kind of blend okay so that would be the underpainting for the first cherry and again I might do some more adjustment because I feel like this is kind of shapely weird I mean weirdly shaped <laughs> what am I saying <laughs> So I'm just going to allow that first to dry and let's move on to the next one. We will do the same procedure again. Get your paint gray, mix it with the existing red, but again, make sure that it, mo it is more dominantly dark or black. I'm just going to go again, again, be quite um, fast here it doesn't have to be like super fast just make sure that the paint's still wet it's wet enough for you to be able to kind of blend all right so i'm just gonna go around again and then get your burnt sienna all right like that and then get your red color right like that and then I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it and spread the paint quite evenly on the canvas just like that All right and if you need to darken it even more just do so Let's move on to the next or to the last cherry that we have here. Again, get your black, mix it with the red. I mean, I keep on repeating the steps just to remind you of how I do my um, painting process. Sorry if I get like annoying when I keep repeating the steps. I hope I'm not uh, annoying you. You can add a tiny bit of water just to spread the paint quite evenly. And try to work a little faster than usual just for blending purposes. Again, I'm doing my, or I'm getting my burnt sienna next to the black paint or to the paint spray along the edge. And then, of course, your red.
Like that. Right, like that. Again, as I told you, I might correct this one because I feel like it's kind of weird. So I'm just gonna just repeat the process that I did. I'm just gonna make it a little curvier, like that, because I feel like it's kind of in a weird shape. All right, like that. Okay, I'm just gonna continue it, like that. Yeah, that's what I want. And if you see some lines outside the sketch or some paints outside the sketch, it's all right. You can simply paint over it using your white acrylic if you're using a white canvas. And if you're using a black canvas, well, just use your black, black paint. Okay. All right, okay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna fix that one because it's looking a little weird. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out now and let's go make some shadows, all right? I think this Painting, I categorize it under easy beginner level um, painting. So, yeah, I'm inviting all painters, uh, I mean, of all levels, to join me in this painting tutorial because it's quite fun and easy. So, before I do some shadows, I think I'm just gonna start cleaning the edges because I don't wanna do the shadows and then paint over it later as I see the errors or the okay my paintbrush is quite dirty so just make sure that you have clean paintbrush whoops so the paint's still wet, that's why, okay, it, it has some black spots, but it's all right. So again, I'm just cleaning it. Actually, you may, you know, do away with this if you want your painting to look like, you know, very um, painterly. You can retain those uh, minor errors. It's what we call style, okay? But me, I really don't prefer to have those lines outside or paints outside my sketch i just don't prefer that it's just not my style i try my best to remove those excess paints all right so i think that's fair and i think that's uh clean enough for me to be able to proceed to the next step so for the shadows we're just gonna do some gray color the shadows in the reference image they are not that very like in your face shadow uh, there's so minor details but I think that minor detail actually makes all the difference so get your white and a tiny bit of paint gray or black you can use either just use or just mix the two colors to get some light gray color and I think this is gray enough or maybe not I think I'm gonna add more paint gray yeah like this maybe more all right okay I'm gonna hmm I think I'm gonna add some more all right okay maybe this gray and then let's go around some areas that I see where the shadow is I'm gonna go here I think I'm gonna make it darker 
Sorry guys, I keep adding because you know, I only decide as I go. And also here, okay, and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to lighten the grayness of my shadow color and make some more light gray. Okay, I think more light. That's too dark. All right, maybe this. And I'm going back to the darker grays right here. like that okay. all right here down here very light okay not too much just like that okay wash your brush out and now I'm gonna get again my black color or in my case I'm using paints gray but I, I did I would not have um, I don't mind using uh, black paint it's just that that's the first color that I saw when I was preparing the colors so I'm just gonna get my black and then add a tiny bit of red just like what we did during the first underpainting the first layer I'm just going to go ahead and fix some areas like that. Like that. I am making it more solid like shape wise whoops it's not solid like that okay Right, like that okay now let's go back to the insides of the cherries okay I think I have to fix something else here it's looking quite okay And also here and here so all right okay I'm gonna wash my brush out I'm gonna go back to using some red color but in order for the red to kind of pop out I'm gonna get some orange and mix it with my red okay so it's like red orange but don't make it too orangey it should be like 70% red 30% orange 
I'm inventing the statistics, but <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. <laughs> I don't want you to get your measuring cup or anything like that just for that. I'm just saying that it should be more red than orange. So I'm going to use that color to pop it here in the middle. Okay, and, and of course, as always, I'll be using my finger to blend. Okay. The center should be lighter. It should appear lighter because uh, it's being hit by the light. That's why. It should be like that. Okay, and then use the same technique right here. Stay in the middle. Okay, and for this area, stay um, here on the left side like that now I want you to get your red again get, your, get back to your red and just okay I think I ran out of red already get your red and Spread it just like what you did with the orange. Okay, I'm gonna get again my black or paint screen and I'm going to create some markings. On the cherries Okay, and I'm just gonna fix this area. All right, like that. Let me check. Yeah, okay. Now let's go and make some highlights, okay? I'm gonna get my titanium white and mix it with my existing gray. We don't want it to be full full on um, bright white okay we start with gray color so I'm just dirtying my white okay. and I'm gonna apply a dot okay just like that and I'm gonna use my ring finger it has to be the ring finger okay <laughs> if it's not the ring finger then <laughs> You're doing it wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, again, I'm just gonna do the same step right here again. And I'm using my, you can use any of your fingers, of course. I'm just kidding, guys. Just dab. Do not create hard lines. And again, here, I'm just gonna dab it here. Whoops, I think the paint's too wet, but it's all right. I'm just gonna dab it slightly like that like that okay Whew. okay i'm gonna apply some highlights down here and then that like that okay now let's proceed to making some what do you call that stems and for that i'll be using again my paint spray or you can use your black I'm going to add a tiny bit of green oxide, tiny bit of yellow, like this. So it's like muted, actually oxide green is already a muted green shade, 
but then when you add more black it becomes really really muted and it's good for making some dark greens so for the first stem we're going to do it because it's like crisscrossing um, uh, stem so I'm gonna do this first so I'm just gonna mark where the stem is gonna go here all right and then try to we're not making a straight line here because again we're painting a natural subject don't try to make it straight it's gonna look weird and not you know realistic okay like that oops like that so that's the first um stem okay now i'm gonna do the second stem i'm gonna do the back this one Again, this is the underpainting for the stem. I'm calling it the stem. I actually don't know the exact name for that, but you know what I mean, guys. And the last one, this will be the overlapping stem. Or maybe we can do that last, but for purposes of just showing you, I'm just gonna show you. Uh, I might paint over it later because of the highlights of the of this one but still I just want to do it so it should overlap like that and then I'm gonna make some like they're tied together All right. Okay, now we're going to while while we uh, what <laughs> I cannot speak properly while we're waiting for it to dry. Okay, we're going to make some shadows for those stems, and for the shadows, we're going to get our gray color. So just get your black or paints gray. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of green oxide to that. Okay. So this kind of gray. Okay. I hope you can see that so it has to have some tinge of a green to your gray all right so I'm gonna add white all right. okay I'm gonna try this first and I'm gonna use water and let's create I hope it's lighter okay okay that's per maybe not I'm gonna add more white it's too dark okay right okay if you're if you can hear some like doors closing that's because of my neighbor I'm trying to sound quiet. <laughs> All right, and then okay, like that. <laughs> I'm whispering. All right, and then let's continue here. This is very preliminary to the real, to the shadows that we're trying to achieve. We're going to go back to it later okay and then we're going to make some more lighter um grays should 
should be under. Like that. All right. It's nice. Okay. Now we're going back to the stems because this is not the colors that we want for the stems. We're going to lighten it and we're going to go we're going to go back to the first stem that we did so i'm gonna get some yellow and i'm gonna mix that with my green oxide all right a tiny bit of burnt sienna just to tone down the color without however removing the yellowness of the color oops there's a bug okay because i have so many plants in my place yeah i think you've heard me say that like one mil one gazillion times already so I'm going to lighten this stem. All right, and then here as well. And then I'm going to use the same color to lighten this area and to lighten this area. Okay, we're going to make it like green we don't want it to be super super dark like that and also here like that Okay, I'm gonna get my orange and burnt sienna. Okay, I'm gonna mix my burnt sienna and yellow and orange. I'm just gonna go, okay, I think more orange. Let's make it quite light and let's make some natural markings here where I see it. Okay, also here, just dab on color, just like that. also here oh oh my gosh this is so good <laughs> this is so good i did not expect it at all <laughs> okay i'm just gonna use another brush because my brush is quite like super old like overused so it kind of got muddy already so i'm just gonna use this one i'm gonna dab onto my white and highlight some areas where I see it, okay? So for the highlights, either I'm using light yellow or white. You can actually tell by just watching me. I hope, you know, being observed observant uh, helps you to um, notice what I'm doing sometimes I love to explain but some things are better explained while doing it So again, try to make some more detailing.
like that okay now let's go back to the cherries which are the main uh, focus of my painting so I'm gonna get some white okay I think I already run out of white so I'm just gonna get more white and I'm gonna switch to my small square brush because it's kind of pointy like edgy I mean not pointy I'm gonna get my pure white okay I'm just gonna go around okay some areas right here so I'm just gonna use pure white to go around between the shadow and the cherry okay just like that also here all right now again using pure white let's go back to the highlights that we had here I'm just going to dab on right in the center or on the center, sorry. Just going to dab on some pure white. All right, just like that. It's very minimal. Okay, using my white, okay, I'm just going to go and glaze around the shadow like that I hope you saw that I'm just glazing it I don't want the shadow to be to appear so like super hard lines okay my brush is quite dirty but again if you if you do not if you don't mind having a like painterly look <laughs> then it, it should be fine So I'm just glazing over the shadow again because we kind of don't want it to be to appear like super super hard lines what's wrong with my with my tongue <laughs> I cannot speak properly all right oops I need water Okay, let's, let's just, okay. I'm going to dab on some yellow colors. And then a tiny bit of orange. Here and there just to add more details of course burnt sienna all right we're not yet done with the cherries guys I'm gonna get my red okay add a tiny bit of white so it's like pinky color so I'm going to use this pink to go around certain areas, like here. Like that. And then I'm going to use this color and spread it okay. and here and 
Yan. So it's like an additional highlight. Here. I'm also using some red. And I'll be using some more dark red. Like that. wonder how this looks like I'm using some black I think I will make this more round okay I keep changing this one Like that. Okay, let me check. Oh my god. This is so good. Oh, I did not expect this. I did not expect this one. <laughs> you know, sometimes I get surprised by my own work. Right. So again, I'm just uh, doing some little detailing. Okay, I'm darkening this um stem because i want it to be or to seem as if it's overlapping the this one the stem of this one yeah i hope i'm making sense guys all right so before we forget this one has a shadow of course okay so i'm gonna get more black or paint spray all right so Let's just add tiny more details. Just get your black or paint spray. Let's make some, let's try to separate it from the cherries. Just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna darken again this lower part where the shadow is located. All right, like that. And also I'm fixing some areas. Okay, again, using your black or paint spray, just outline the stem. Try to outline it. All 
All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, again, let's go back to my titanium white. Tiny bit of highlight there. Okay, more like pink highlight here. And hints of pinks. All right, let me check. Yeah, so good. Gosh, this is so good. Okay, you may want to um, glaze again over those shadows just to remove the harshness of the grays. tiny bit of yellow I know that this would be this would seem like weird to you and I'm gonna I'm gonna add tiny bit of brownie yellow okay but I'm gonna do some hints of yellow just along the shadow just like that very subtle okay and then here this shadow or oh, this shadow this subtle details actually makes it or make it more realistic because we're doing a shadow but that doesn't mean the colors of the object are not being uh reflected on the shadow i don't know if you notice that kind of effect but they do they do guys i hope i'm not the only one uh, believing that and seeing it you can actually look at the reference image that we're using you can uh, tell that there's some sort of yellowness around this area because we have here some yellow stems so when the shadow is being cast here the colors are also being thrown and reflected right here yeah, I, I hope I'm not making things complicated for all of you, but yeah, that's the way science goes, I think. All right. Okay, yep, I think this is, this is really good, okay? If I have to fix something, I think that would be that, like this one. Yeah, it's looking weird just trying to make it look more polish So yeah, I think we're done. We're done, guys. So I'm gonna sign this now. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the cherry painting thing. <laughs> because I love painting the subject because 
you know me, it's my name, Cheryl. So I'm gonna sign maybe here just to balance things a bit, okay? Because there's a space right here. So I'm just gonna use that for my signature. Of course, I'm gonna use my name, which is Chet. I see it quite perfect for the subject. <laughs> If your name is Cherry, that would have been better. <laughs> My name is Cheryl, but I'm only using Che. It's and I like it. Uh, I like it more actually. So yeah, that's it. So we're done, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Please share this with your friends if you want them to learn as well from this tutorial. If you find it useful, if you find it fun, you know, during the weekend you can paint along. And yeah, let's enjoy um, creating um, um, through this um, social media connection through YouTube. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's what? It took us like 50 minutes doing this one. So see you in my next video. And love you.